Hey guys, sorry I had to do a voiceover because I don't know what's wrong with my phone. It um doesn't do the video with the audio in sync. Okay, so what I'm saying is that I went to my neighbor's house and I asked her how was the weather the day Hurricane Andrew hit us. And she said, oh, it was very beautiful. I'm like, yeah, I, I remember it was very beautiful, but I'm talking about the heat. She said, yeah, it was very hot. It was like 95. I'm like, great, great. You know what that means, right? She goes, no, what? I think we're going to get hit by a major storm. We've never known what a hurricane was until 1992 when we were affected by a Category 5 hurricane. And the heat we've been having here is three digit heat and that's what fuels hurricanes is the heat look at this so i think this year we're looking into like a terrible storm And like I was saying, we never knew what a hurricane was. We were hit by tropical storms, tropical depressions, but never a hurricane. Since I've been alive, I remember that uh, I think it was either the 20s or 30s, a hurricane hit in the Keys. And people were trying to escape the Keys when the hurricane was coming on a train. And I was like, wow, why would they try to escape on a train? I don't know. They always tell you, leave before you, it becomes worse. While well, you still can. And if it's windy already and you know the hurricane's coming, the best thing to do is stay at home. But yeah, I think we're going to get hit by a terrible hurricane and... Honestly, I want to pull my sailboat out of there and just bring it home. I spoke to a guy that, that cleans the boat, that cleans boats, the bottom, and he told me he could go in the water. I told him all I need is the keel to be cleaned. That's it. I want to clean up the bottom here at home and also start working on the engine and strap it down if a hurricane comes. Get a long, long rebar and put it with a lot of cement on, in the ground and then just strap it down completely. Uh, I just hope that we don't get hit by a ter terrible hurricane this year. And if we do, let it be a Category 1, maybe a 2, but not a 3, 4, or 5. Because those, ter those hurricanes are terrible. Hurricane Andrew wasn't as big as these other hurricanes that hit. And the thing was that it's it, it, it was going a certain way. And then all of a sudden it changed direction and it was coming into um, Olmstead. And if you were there, if you were in Florida when that hurricane hit, you will never forget that sound. It was like a train was coming, blowing its horn, and your ears were clogged up. Like, I, I can't explain it. It was just a, a terrible moment that I don't want to ever have to live through again. She was telling me that she suffers from PTSD from the hurricane. And she goes, I could just imagine what you went through because you were here when the hurricane was. I'm like, yeah, I was. And I'm always telling my mom, mom, if a hurricane comes, we got to go. We can't be here no more. All right, guys. Have a great one. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking your time and watching my videos, leaving me a comment and leaving me a like. And some of you go and share my videos, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much.
Have a great night.